little Yarnivores, Spiderettes, and Arachnids. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial for you, and this one was by request. The other day, somebody had commented on a knitting tutorial that I had done on the Feather and Fan Stitch, and it just so happens that I found a really, really, really easy crocheted equivalent. And so this is for you. Also, this is equally for my mother because she is a huge fan of the knitted feather and fan stitch. And this will be great for her for when she wants to do a bit of a simpler project that works up super fast. And this is just a swatch that I did, started it last night, and this is done in Karen Cakes, because you know I love that yarn. No, I'm not sponsored, but I love that yarn. Mm -mm -mm. And this is the colorway of doo -doo 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 -doo, Fairy Cake. Mm, yum. So, decided to do a swatch with this. I didn't get very far, but I wanted to give it a go. And it is, like I said, Super duper easy. It is a two row repeat. Yes, your ears don't deceive you. And uh, it's sort of like a typical chevron, but these open gaps, love it. Looks so beautiful, so easy. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver, sort of a golden color. And I'm also going to be using my size I crochet hook. You use whatever works for you as far as your gauge is concerned. I don't judge. And so for the base chain, you are going to need to do uh, a multiple of 17 stitches plus three. So I did my multiple of 17. I have two sets of 17 stitches, and that is actually what I did for this swatch. So from this side to the center would be one multiple of 17. And to give the full effect, I decided to do uh, two sets. So if you want to do a blanket, keep going, go crazy. Just remember that because the edge at the top and bottom is wavy, you might need more sets of 17 than you might think, because if you do your chains, uh, you know, in the 17 increments, if you do your sets and you lay it out completely straight, it's going to come up shorter uh, when you're actually doing the stitching because you have this waviness going on at the top and bottom, which I'm in love with. Mm. Um, so that being said, be aware. Okay, so getting to my actual swatch here. Now, like I said, I did my two sets of 17 stitches, and then I'm going to add an additional three because we're going to jump right in to doing double crochet stitches. So one, two, and three and then doing into the fourth chain from the hook, do a double crochet. Now the chain three counts as a double, and the double counts as a double, of course. So then into the next stitch, we do two doubles into the same stitch, the same chain, And then into the next one, we do two doubles. So we have three sets of two to begin with. Two, two, and two. All right. And then what we're going to do, now I'm going to grab some more yarn, but what we're going to do is we're not chaining at all. We're just going to do a double crochet, skipping a chain, going into the next chain, we're doing a double, and we're going to be doing five of these. So then we skip a chain, go into the next one with a double, doing another double, 
skipping a chain, going into the next chain. Skip a chain, go into the next chain with a double. Mm. There we go. Oh. My yarn got a little bit split, but that's okay. There we go. So we have four done so far. We just need one more. All right, so we have our one, two, three, four, five, then skipping the next chain stitch into the next, we're gonna do our pairs again. We're gonna do six pairs. So that's two into the same stitch. So we did our, our five, skipped that chain down there, and we've got two in the same. So that's one, two, then three and four into the same stitch, then five and six into the same stitch, then seven and eight in the same stitch, nine and 10 in the same stitch, eleven and twelve in the same stitch. <clears throat> See, it's starting to become wiggledy already. So we have our, our five. Well, we start with our three pairs, then our five, and then our six pairs, because it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. <clears throat> then we're gonna go back to doing our skippings so skipping the next chain, we go into the next with a double, and we're gonna be doing five of these again. So that's one, skip a chain, go into the next, two, skip a chain, go into the next, three, skip a chain, go into the next, four, Skip a chain, go into the next. Five. Ta da! All right, then we skip a chain, go into the next with two double crochets, <clears throat> and then we do two double crochets and then two double crochets just like we started with. It's all about symmetry with this particular pattern. So we start with three pairs and we end with three pairs. Apples are good too, but we've got pairs right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so quick recap, three pairs, five spaced out singles, six pairs, five spaced out singles, and then three pairs. And that is the end of our first row. Okie dokie. So the second row, nothing could be simpler quite easily. All right, so we chain one, we turn the work, and this is the fun row because it requires absolutely no concentration whatsoever, which I love. We're just doing single crochets into every stitch across the entire length. We're not chaining, we're not skipping. We just do a stitch into each stitch. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, love it. Now the knitting 
comparison to this. I think it's like a four row repeat, if I'm not mistaken. And let me tell you, this goes a lot faster. You know, they both have their merits, most certainly. You know, I, I like both knitting as well as crocheting, to be sure. Um, but this goes so much faster. Just between you and me, a lot faster. <laughs> um, and like I said, this would be great for a blanket if you're looking for something that is light, yet not quite so prominent with the holes as, say, a granny square blanket, which I do love them too. But some people, they don't like it when their toes go through, you know. My solution to that, I wear socks. <laughs> All right, so we are almost done with the second row, which is pretty awesome. And that really is it as far as the repeat is concerned. Um, you know, another idea that you could use for this, uh, a table runner would be lovely uh, if you do a fairly wide piece you could do a wrap. That would also be really lovely. Um, you know, really whatever you like. You know, I've got, you know, sort of a baby blanket in mind when I think of this. All right, so now don't forget, you have to go into this last stitch here, going into the third chain from the bottom. Otherwise, you're going to end up being short one stitch. So always be sure to capture that last stitch there, like so. Otherwise, you're going to suffer from a shrinking width. All right. So now what you do to start the next row, quite simply, chain up three. One, two, three. Turn the work. <clears throat> and continue on just as we did. So start by doing into this first stitch here, do a double crochet. So it's the first of our pairs. And then into the next two stitches, do two double crochets in each stitch. Like so, and like so. Ta da! And then we do the spaced out five. So skip a stitch, go into the next one with a double. Skip a stitch, go into the next with a double. Skip a stitch, go into the next with a double. Skip the next stitch, go into the next with a double. Yeah. Skip the next stitch, go into the next with a double. And are we there yet? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we are. All right. Grab some more yarnage. Okay. Then we are going to go back into our pairings. So skipping the next stitch, we do our first pair. So that's the first two stitches. Then it's three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
So we have our six stitches here, but it's two double crochets in each. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Awesome. Then we skip the next stitch, go into the next with a double because we're doing our separated five. So that's one. Skip the next stitch, go into the next with a double. Two. Skip the next stitch, go into the next with a double. That's three. Skip the next stitch, go into the next with a double to make four. Skip the next stitch, go into the next with a double to make five. And then we skip the next stitch, go into the next with two doubles because we're at the end of our row. Three and three, don't forget. So in the next one, we do two doubles. And then two doubles is what we're going to end on. Oops. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then again, you would chain one and you would turn your work and you would go into every stitch with a single crochet stitch. And then when you reach the end of this row, you would chain up three and you would do a double crochet into that first stitch. And then you would do in the next two stitches, two double crochets into each stitch. And then you do your separated singleton fives, um, you know, set of five double crochets separated by one uh, space at the bottom each. And this pattern is as easy as that. Absolutely love it. And uh, I really think that it's quite elegant in its simplicity. And I think this is going to be one of my go-tos, you know, especially if I'm going to do baby blankets again. I don't know. We will see. You know, very, very simple. And uh, <clears throat> I rather like it. So as you, oop, sorry. <laughs> so as you can see, it does grow rather nicely and it has a lovely sort of lacy chevron grooviness to it. I dig it. All right. Also, another thing that you could quite conceivably do, if you are not a fan of how the edge looks, there is a way around that. What you could do is when you do your base chain, what you could very easily do is instead of on your base chain, starting with uh, a multiple of 17 plus 3, you could do a multiple of 17 plus 1. And instead of doing double crochets, you could do a first row of just the single crochets first, and then do a row of the, the double crochets as I've been showing you, um, which might make for a less rolly edge because this is curled just a little bit. So that is, of course, an alternative for you. By all means, experiment, have fun. Um, you know, and of course, if you did just this one repeat, might make a nice little skinny scarf. Um, if you did many, many repeats, could make a really awesome blanket. You know, hey, experiment, have some fun. So listen, if you liked this tutorial, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, hey, I'm all ears. Do so in the comments section down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that button because I make videos as often as I can. If it's not tutorials, I do a lot of audiobook readings. And, you know, I try to post quite literally as often as I can because I love it so much and I love you guys. Um, your support means all the world to me and I love hearing from you. So listen, until next time, stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.